This is the evolution of phone cameras, the brands which have influenced the camera game and what to expect of future phone cameras. Let's see. The video is divided into five generations which includes the past and the present cameras. The last one contains what to expect of future phone cameras. First generation. In the early 2000s, phones were primarily communication devices, and the idea of having a camera on your phone was a groundbreaking concept. The idea was less focused on quality, but on the basics of producing a photograph using a phone. In 2000, Sharp produced the first phone cameras. With resolutions measured in kilopixels rather than megapixels, these cameras were more about novelty than producing high-quality images. Users were excited to capture epic moments on the go, even if the results were often blurry and lacking detail. Navigating the world of early phone photography came with its challenges. The absence of autofocus meant capturing a clear shot required steady hands and optimal lighting. Despite the limitations, the introduction of camera phones marked a cultural shift, laying the foundation for the visual-centric culture. Second generation. The second generation of smartphone cameras was introduced in the mid-2000s. These cameras were more advanced, with higher resolution and autofocus capabilities. There was a shift from kilopixels to megapixels, and higher resolution started to matter. Users were excited about the prospect of capturing more detailed and clearer images. The definitive game-changer was autofocus allowing users to capture sharper images with ease. Digital Zoom also made its debut, although it was often limited in quality. Still, the ability to zoom in on a subject marked a significant step forward in phone photography. Say hello to the era of video recording on your phone. Second-generation cameras introduced the ability to capture short video clips, opening up new possibilities for users to document not just moments in time but also dynamic scenes. Additionally, front-facing cameras started making appearances, setting the stage for the rise of selfies and video calls. As the importance of phone cameras grew, some devices became known for their camera-centric features. Manufacturers started marketing phones with higher megapixel counts and advanced camera technologies to attract photography enthusiasts. Third generation. Introduced in the late 2000s and early 2010s, bringing about transformative changes. The emphasis shifted from mere convenience to delivering a more sophisticated and versatile photography experience. This is when we saw a significant improvement in smartphone camera technology, with manufacturers such as Apple and Samsung leading the way. The iPhone 4, introduced in 2010, featured a 5-megapixel camera with LED flash, autofocus, and the ability to shoot HD video. Megapixels continued to dominate discussions, with phones boasting double-digit megapixel counts. Higher resolutions meant users could capture more detail in their photos, a trend that persisted throughout this generation. The selfie era truly blossomed during this generation, as front-facing cameras underwent significant improvements. Selfie enthusiasts rejoiced, as phones began featuring higher-resolution front cameras, making those self-portraits clearer and more detailed. Panorama modes also gained popularity, enabling users to capture sweeping landscapes seamlessly. This was a game-changer for smartphone cameras, as it opened up new possibilities for mobile photography and videography. Manufacturers had to move very fast into the next generation, with the aim of introducing more breathtaking features. Fourth Generation In the mid-2010s to early 2020s, the fourth generation of phone cameras pushed boundaries, transforming our expectations of what a smartphone could achieve in the realm of photography. This is when we started to see more advanced features such as optical image stabilization, larger sensors, and dual-lens cameras. The Samsung Galaxy S7, released in 2016, featured a 12-megapixel camera with dual-pixel autofocus and optical image stabilization. This was a significant improvement over previous models, allowing users to capture sharp, detailed images even in low light. Portrait mode was introduced creating a shallow depth of field and beautiful artistic effects. Fourth-generation phones continued to refine zoom capabilities. Periscope zoom lenses, optical zoom, and hybrid zoom systems became common, allowing users to get closer to their subjects without sacrificing image quality. This feature brought a touch of professionalism to mobile photography, allowing users to capture striking portraits with ease. Artificial Intelligence AI played a pivotal role in fourth-generation phone cameras. AI was used for scene recognition, automatic adjustments, and even suggesting optimal camera settings based on the subject, making photography more accessible for all users. 
This seemed to be the climax but manufacturers stretched a bit and more was to be done as we see in the next generation. Fifth generation. This generation of phone cameras has redefined the way we capture and experience the world through our smartphones. These cameras are more advanced than ever before, with features such as multiple lenses, improved image processing, and AI-assisted shooting modes. The iPhone 12 Pro features a triple-lens camera system with 12-megapixel sensors, as well as night mode and deep fusion technology, which use machine learning to enhance image quality. Similarly, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, also released in 2020, features a quad-lens camera system with 108-megapixel sensors, as well as 8K video recording and 100x zoom capabilities. The fifth generation of phone cameras is a testament to human capabilities, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. I promise to take you through what to expect of the mobile phone cameras in days to come. While I cannot predict future developments with certainty, I can speculate on potential trends and features that might be expected in the hypothetical sixth generation of phone cameras based on the trajectory of advancements in recent years. Advanced computational photography. Continued improvements in computational photography. Leveraging AI and machine learning for real-time scene analysis. Enhanced image processing. And further refinement of features like night mode and portrait mode. Gesture-based photography controls. Integration of gesture-based controls for capturing photos and videos, allowing users to interact with their devices in more intuitive ways. Real-time collaboration features. Innovative features that facilitate real-time collaboration through the camera, enabling users to share and interact with their surroundings seamlessly. As smartphone cameras continue to advance, it is clear that mobile photography and videography will only continue to grow in popularity, and their use cases will only expand to cover more and more areas. Which phone do you think has the best camera quality? Let us know in the comments.